The mirror feature is a useful tool for reproducing CAD geometry using a mirror plane. In this part, we're going to mirror over the tab we have here, and then we're going to mirror the entire resulting part about the back face. So to start, we need a mirror plane. So we'll create a new plane and choose the two opposite faces. The default reference for that is mid plane, and that's the option we want, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And then we'll come in and choose the mirror feature. Then we'll choose the plane in the center there as the mirror plane. And for the features to mirror, we're going to select out Boss Extrude 2 and Cut Extrude 1. And then click OK. Now within the mirror tool, if we go back in, we can see that there's multiple boxes that we can select into here. Features to mirror or faces to mirror. And if you create a new mirror feature, there's also an option for bodies to mirror. So we're going to go back into mirror 5 here and actually use the faces to mirror to create the cut extrude 1 on the other side. So we'll go ahead and select out that face. And we can see that in the full preview it populates on the other side. So it looks like it'll work there. And that option is the faces to mirror. Just keep in mind with the faces to mirror that if you were to, for example, mirror over the tab, you'd have to select all of the faces that define that tab. So every single side of that tab to mirror over. That's why it tends to be easier to use that features to mirror to actually create this on the other side. The next thing we'll do is mirror this part over the back face. We'll go ahead and choose the face here as the mirror plane. And in this case, we can use the features to mirror and choose out all four of these features. Or we could just come in and use the bodies to mirror. And when I click on the part there, it'll choose the entire body. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Lastly here, I want to create another plane parallel to that face. And I'm going to set this off by one inch. And then we're going to mirror the entire part over that plane. So for that mirror plane, I'll go ahead and choose that new plane there. And then we'll choose out all of the features that define this part. And you'll notice that there's no preview on the other side. The reason for this is that the features to mirror option and the faces to mirror option don't allow you to create multiple bodies. To do that, we'll go ahead and delete out all the features to mirror and just choose the body. And we'll have to uncheck the merge solids option as they're two disjointed bodies. And there we have our completed mirror.